Welcome to Mingle, English Language, Level A1, Lesson 1. Objectives. In this lesson, you will learn and practice greetings. To ask how someone is, to say goodbye, pronunciation, and singular and plural nouns. Vocabulary Greetings In English, our greetings may change at different times of the day. Listen to the following examples and repeat. Before 12pm we say Good morning Between 12pm and 5pm we say Good afternoon And after 5 p.m. we say, Good evening. Also, just before we go to sleep, we say, Good night. Now, listen carefully to this dialogue and repeat. Good afternoon, Steve. But Jason, it is 6 p.m. Oh, I am sorry. Good evening. Good evening to you too. Grammar. Question forms. We often ask how someone is when we say hello. Here are some examples for you to learn. Listen carefully and repeat. Hello, how are you? Hi there, how are you doing? When we meet someone for the first time we say the following. Listen carefully and repeat. How do you do? Nice to meet you. Delighted to meet you. Pleased to meet you. Glad to meet you. Grammar Answers When someone asks us how we are, we need to answer them. Listen carefully to the following examples and repeat. Hello, how are you? You can answer in the following ways. I am well, and you? I am not so well. I am fine, thanks. Good morning. I am fine, thanks. Now, listen carefully and repeat the following example. Hello, how are you? Great. And you? Hi there. How are you doing? I am not so well. Good morning. How are you today? Good morning. I am fine. Thanks. Dialogue Meeting Listen carefully to the following dialogues and repeat. Good morning, Steve. How are you doing? I am fine, thanks. But Jason, 
It is not morning. It is the afternoon. Oh, thanks, Steve. You are welcome. Grammar. Singular and plural. We use singular and plural words to tell us how many things we are talking about. We use this to talk about one singular thing, which is something near to us. For example, this is my book, this is my bike, this is my bag, this is my mobile phone. We use that to talk about one singular thing, however, for something farther away. For example, that is my book, that is my bag over there on the table, that is my picture on the wall. We use these as a plural of this for something which is near to us. For example, these are my books. These are my keys. We use those as a plural of that for something which is farther away. For example, those are my books. Those are my books over there on the table. Those are my keys you have in your hand. Dialogue. Are these my books? Listen carefully to the following dialogues and repeat. Good morning, Steve. How are you doing? I am fine, thanks. Are these my books? No, those are not your books. That is your book. Thanks. You are welcome. Goodbye. Goodbye. Exercise vocabulary. Insert the correct words into the spaces. You will find the words at the bottom of the screen. Pause the video and practice by yourself. When you are ready to continue, press play again. Answers. Good morning, Jason. How are you doing? I am fine, thanks. Are those my books? No, those are not your books. This is your book. Thanks. You are welcome. Goodbye. Exercise. Use the following words to ask some questions. Pause the video and practice by yourself. When you are ready to continue, press play again. Answers. Good morning. How are you? Good afternoon. How are you? Are these my books? Are those your books? Is this your book? Is that your book? Objectives reached. You have now reached the end of the lesson. You have practiced greetings, asking how someone is, saying goodbye, pronunciation, singular and plural nouns. Well done. It's time for a cup of tea. This brings us to the end of Mingle English Language Level A1 Lesson 1. To book a live lesson today, go to mingle.com.